everybody welcome back to my channel and if you're new hi my name is Danielle it's nice to meet you and if you want to subscribe down below I post videos almost every day so this video is going to be all about Instagram how to pose for pictures what filters to use how to get good content and a few certain pictures that do well on Instagram and really and just picture ideas I guess this video has been highly highly requested from you guys because a lot of you guys that are subscribed to me on here follow me on Instagram I do pride myself on my Instagram it is something that I really work hard on so make sure to follow me on Instagram or at least check it me out on Instagram before you even watch this video because if you don't like my Instagram then you probably won't like this video my Instagram is right here it is at Danielle Carolyn so pause for a second go on Instagram search D A N I E L L E C A R O L A N on Instagram. That's me. So I wrote down a list of tips that I have about times to post on Instagram, the filters I use, filters to use, how to get good footage, how to work with local photographers, some poses that I think work really well. It's just gonna be an Instagram filled video. So I'm gonna start off with how I edit my pictures in particular. It sometimes switches if I work with a photographer and they send me the picture, then I won't edit it. I'll just post it as is. So if the photo is taken on an iPhone, I'll usually upload it to Visco. And the first thing I'll do is I'll go to tools or whatever and I will sharpen it. And Joey always told me it's best to sharpen it at least up to the number five because it just makes your picture look a little bit more clear, look a little bit more high def. And then I'll contrast it a little bit, brighten it a little bit if needed, desaturate, saturate, it depends on what I'm wanting for that picture. And then I'll pop the A6 filter on. Usually I don't put the filter on all the way. I'll like put it on like a little bit more than half because it's like a lot if you put the whole filter on, if that makes sense. So I kind of de filterize it a little bit and to make sure the picture matches my feed I will go to Un Um, which is another app that is free and it's essentially you connect your Instagram account to it and it shows you your current Instagram theme and then you can add pictures above it that you potentially want to post and it kind of helps you plan out your pictures and see if it's gonna look good with the rest of your feed because that is a thing it's good to have a uniform Instagram page so I will immediately go there and make sure it looks all good and then I'll post it so that's just a little insight on how I specifically edit my pictures so if you guys wanted to know there you go the next thing I wanted to talk about is certain pictures that I think look really good and something fun that you can add to your Instagram page going to brunch is always a great opportunity to take really good Instagram pictures I'm personally am a fan of once you get your food served if the person sitting across from you at the table takes the picture of you with the food in front of you and maybe with their food too it looks so aesthetically pleasing it looks very good I love pictures like that or if you head over to a coffee shop latte pictures are great you holding your latte those are also really fun pictures to take next are car pictures I love car pictures I don't know why I think they're super cool and like fun um, so either like let's say you're in the car and there's someone in the passenger seat if you've got if you're at a stoplight and the person pulls out their phone and you're just kind of like leaning on the steering wheel kind of looking all like sultry at the camera it looks really cool and it gets a lot of likes so this sounds really I hate everything I'm saying but I'm just talking about Instagram because it's fun or if you're like at a parking lot or something and you're sitting in your car but your door's open and you're at the driver's seat and someone's standing outside of the car looking in that's also a really cool picture to take as for poses i have two go-to poses if i'm doing like outfit pictures in specific because i always like my legs to look thinner and longer in pictures it's just something that i go for so usually if i'm taking an outfit picture or a picture in general i'll put one foot in front of the other one foot in front of the other and soon you'll be walking out the door oh good stuff childhood memes anyways I usually put one foot in front of the other and it usually makes pictures look really good the other thing I do is I don't know how to explain it but I'll kind of prop one of my heels onto my other foot if that makes sense and it just kind of makes your legs look really nice if that makes sense I'm putting picture examples while I'm talking about this another thing I recommend is if you're on a vacation or you're on a summer break or winter break or whatever it may be and you have more time if you have a nice camera or you can even use your phone and you have a couple outfits that you want to take pictures in go out on a little photo shoot with your friends with your parents with a family member whatever it may be and take a ton of pictures with different outfits and have those on your phone stocked up for if there's a day when you don't have a picture to post but you really want one you have those that you've taken a while back and then you have different outfits so people won't think it's like a tbt or whatever so it's just really fun to like stock up and it's just a lot of fun to take photos and 
you know, create with other people. Something that I do that a lot of you guys have been asking me about is I work with photographers. So let's say I'm going to New York City, I'll go onto Instagram and I'll look at hashtags and I'll look up like NYC photographer, I'll look up the hashtag New York photographer, or I'll look for my friends that have shot with photographers in New York and I'll DM them on Instagram and I'll be like, hey, you know, I'll be in New York this, this, this day. Um, do you have any availability? I would love to shoot with you in exchange for social media promotion. And a lot of the times they'll say yes, like I'd love to work with you, I love who you are as a person, and I'll say I love your work. And it just kind of usually works like that, so they're giving you free photos in exchange for you posting them on your Instagram and tagging them. So that's something that I like to do, like I'm going to school in Athens, Georgia in the fall, and I went and looked up hashtag Athens photographer and I found a ton and I've already contacted them and I've got a few photographers that I want to work with when I'm there. So that's always something that you can do. So that is it for my Instagram tips video. I had a lot of fun filming this because I really just truly love Instagram. It's just like a, it's a, it's a big thing for me. So um, I had fun sitting down and talking to you guys about it. If you guys have any tips for me or if you have any questions about anything, comment those down below. Also comment down below any videos that you want to see in the future. I hope this video answered all of your questions, but again, if they didn't, comment them down below. I love you guys so much. Make sure to follow me on Instagram and subscribe, obviously. I post videos almost every day and I'll see you guys very soon for my next one. Bye guys.